Hello, welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen. Have you ever noticed when you watch one of those decluttering TV shows that every single time they come upon an item that is sentimental or valuable to them, it's something they're never going to use again. And the person who is the host of the show says, if you can't get rid of it, but you know you'll never use it again, take a picture of it and just keep the picture and that will be the memory. And do they go, oh yeah, sure, no big deal. And then they take that picture and go, no, they don't. They're like, they're like stuck, right? Why? I think it's because they're trying to honor a piece of their past that hasn't been closed. There's no closure there. And so because this item represents a memory of their past, they don't want to let go of it because they haven't had any closure yet. We talked a lot about how clutter is only a delayed decision, but it's actually more than that. It's something in our lives many times that's been undone. It hasn't been closed. We've moved on to a new chapter, but we haven't properly closed and said goodbye to the old chapter. So then when an item comes up that reminds us of that old chapter, we're stuck and we just don't know what to do. Decluttering is often doing the hard, internal, emotional work of putting the past to rest and saying goodbye to a part of our lives that is in our past. And maybe we haven't come to peace with that yet. As I was putting together today's video of my first day of attic cleaning and decluttering, I was focused on doing the video, I'm decluttering, I'm filming, I'm working with lighting and all the different things that go into that and it never hit me what exactly I had uncovered in that attic until I was editing. And so I want you to know as you go through this video that I too hmm, am grappling with what to hold on to, what to let go of, how best to honor the past, and how best to move forward in my own life. And I want you to know you're not alone in that struggle. So we're seeking to honor the past and the people that were in it. We're seeking to move forward. And that is really deep emotional work. And I want you to know you're not alone. I'm here for you. I'm rooting for you. And you can pray and ask God to help you. And he loves you so much and he'll help you too. Now let's get on with the video. Back in the bedroom of my three teenage daughters, but this time I'm going into the attic to declutter those attic eaves. What I'm going to do is first show you what's going on in there and then we're going to start pulling things out. I'm going to start by pulling out the clothes and putting them on my daughter Ava's bed. Summer's ended, the leaves are turning brown. It's been a pretty popular thought to take those wooden doors right off and replace it with a curtain because it is annoying that you have those two narrow doors and my daughter was reminding me the reason that we need those there is the door to the eaves isn't very well insulated and probably the, even the wall side of the eaves, I'm going to check that out today, and it gets a cold breeze coming through if you don't have those doors. So I do need to check that out. Maybe that's something we can adjust so that we can eventually take the doors off. Let's go in and see what we've got. <laughs> There's no light in there, so I've got my Indiana Jones light all ready to go. <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing this because I noticed that this door was not shut correctly, so it's ajar already, but this needs to just come off. It's just a piece of plywood. As you can see, if I pan down, see? I'm not ready for autumn. Autumn comes too soon. All right, let's go in. Autumn comes too soon. All right, so as you can see, it's a very small space. 
There's insulation on the top covered by plastic and oh my goodness, random towel. What even? Christmas decor. This is a bed. So I know that white frame in the back. That's from an older bed. I don't even think we need to keep this. This mattress is what my son uses when he comes to visit. But I'm thinking of doing something different. We'll see. And then is this a box spring or a mattress? That is also a mattress. So we'll have to look at whether we need to keep these. But my big concern is the boxes. And these need to come out. Ouch. Just banged my head. Where I can see what these are. And I'm really hoping that there's like literally nothing I want to keep. That's my hope. <laughs> you see that piece of wood right there? I've already banged my head on it twice. <laughs> it's going to be a long afternoon. I decided to start with four trash bags. You don't even know how badly I want to just like throw it all away. I'm not even look at it. It's a mattress cover, but you know what? It's gotta be old. Well, it looks really good though. Look, that actually looks really nice. I mean, it's clean. I don't even know who had it, but this is going, that's a, seriously, that's a pillow. And then this blanket is also going. This puppy is headed down the stairs. These are all old sheets. I see. and a bed skirt for when my daughters were little. So I know these are going. These can go to Goodwill. And someone else can make good use of them, just not me. So far, so good. If it stays this easy, I'll be so happy. I did see a box of books in there though, and I know they're my husband's, and I already said, well, they've been up there so long, I'm sure we're just gonna get rid of all of them, right? Because we forgot we had them. <sighs> He wasn't convinced he wanted to see him. That was more bedding, but as you saw, it's super discolored and ripped over time. It just deteriorated in there. And there's some sheets and stuff, but I think that stuff's gonna go to the dump. That's gross. See, this is what happens. It's been in there. Oh my goodness. If I think about how long it's been since we got rid of the sheets, we're talking, you know, six years maybe it's been in there without me really even looking at it. Also, look. There is a symptom of mice. It's a bed skirt and more. Wow, I really thought I had gotten rid of all this stuff years ago. I really did. But yeah, it's just, again, more sheets, old towel that, I mean, really? Why is that there? So this is getting hucked down the stairs as well. I wanted to share, in case you feel this way too, that whenever I dive into storage areas, I think the hardest part is there's just a certain amount of shame that goes into it, like, why, why, just why? Why was I keeping all that? But I bet you anything with those sheets, I was thinking there have been times in my life when there was a crisis or something and I had a lot of family that would come here and stay, or even when a kid is in college and they have a lot of friends over, where I think, oh, I might need these sheets someday, but I don't want um, to get rid of them, but I'm not using them. So I'll put them here and then if we have people that come, then by all means we'll pull them out. But really, if I have extra stuff, I'd rather have it in the basement because I have all those shelves I can walk through. I mean, if that's not a crawl space, but it's darn close and it's just so hard to get in there that things get forgotten. That's why 
I don't mind my daughters using it for storage because it is attached to their bedroom and I feel like it's easier. They can just pull it out on their floor, go through it and decide what they want to keep and what they want to get rid of when they're ready to either move out or maybe we'll do this yearly of having them check in with their things and see if they're ready to get rid of them. When I opened up this attic, I didn't fully realize that I had actually opened a time capsule. And so to just make this video make a little bit more sense to you, I want you to know that in 2012, we adopted our younger four children, a sibling group of four from the country of Nicaragua. So the time capsule I'm talking about in the attic is that most of the things in there predate 2012. There were a few things in there, but most of the stuff since 2012 including pictures are currently in my basement so that's why you're not seeing a lot of the pictures of my younger four kids or us as a large family of all seven kids and that's because most of those family pictures are already in the basement where I keep photo storage We're on a journey, looking back on the things that we've taken for granted but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together All right, so these I see... Oh, that's an electric blanket. I wonder if it works. Blankets, these are all blankets. Oh, here's a blanket I knit. Back in the day... Oh, that's sad. Back in the day... <laughs> I used to knit a blanket every winter. I would start in the fall and just start knitting away, something that was easy to follow so I didn't have to be thinking or counting. And as the winter would get colder, my blanket would get bigger. And then at the end of the winter, I had myself another blanket. So this was one I did. Obviously an Americana blanket. I loved it. I still do, but I'm sure someone else make better use of it than me. It doesn't really fit what style I have going on in my house right now. So this is all a box of blankets. I don't need extra blankets. I have plenty and so we can donate those safely. For this box I'm gonna take out anything I want. Leave everything else in here knowing that this box is going to Goodwill. Never used. All right, I guess I guess I'll have to pull it up kind of. It's a shelf. Okay, this is, this is my mother-in-law's wedding picture, isn't that sweet? We'll definitely keep this. I bet this is no coincidence. So actually I'm thinking about framing it with this. So this I'll put aside to keep. That's my mother right there. This is something my son drew when he was really young. And here's the guy that drew it. <laughs> Lots of pictures. That was a quilt I made. This is why I shouldn't have kept pictures in there. You see that? My daughter, Rachel. This is the last family picture before my dad passed away. So there's my dad, my mom, and my Oh, you can't see because of the glare. My two sisters and me. Let yourself heal. It's easy to feel. Let yourself heal.
I feel like I need to deal with what I have taken out so far. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a huge mess. So I'm gonna do that, and then it will have been an hour, and I need to help one of my daughters with some homeschool stuff, and then I will try to do a second session of this today. And then I'll show you what I got done so far, and the rest will wait. I really thought I was gonna do one of, we have two sets of eaves. One is in this bedroom, one is in my other daughter's bedroom. And so I thought, oh, I'll do this one for this week, and the next one for next week, but I don't know that's gonna happen. We'll see. So here's the mess that I created at the bottom of the stairs from my incessant hucking. And then here is some things I brought down to go through and probably donate in those little birthday bags. Okay, so I'm back and we finished up school. It's about an hour and a half later. So I've had a bit of a time to be sitting in a chair instead of doing this. And so it's time to get out the next box. Things I shouldn't be lifting. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm super relieved because I don't think this is one of my husband's boxes. It looks like it's mine. Yay! These I'm definitely getting rid of. This I might have one of the kids read. So I'm going to put these back in the box because with the exception of a couple of novels, this is all going. Actually, exactly two novels. That's one of them. Tasting the sky. Oh, and one other thing. This is a family Bible that we were given, so I need to find a nice place, probably on the sideboard in my dining room. This is definitely coming out. This is from the my husband's family. I almost said the name. <laughs> this is from my husband's family, and so we'll be keeping that. So there's a Rubbermaid in there and I seriously don't know how we got it in. We must have taken the doors off because that thing ain't coming out. But what I found was when I had my first child, somebody made this, but I see it's stained. So I might try to get the stains out or I might see first if my son wants it and then decide. This can go to Goodwill. It's just an old comforter. Ooh. This, again. Someone had made this for me when I had my first child because the um, theme of my nursery was Noah's Ark. And then, this one. This, actually, this is just store-bought. So this will also go to Goodwill. Yeah. Crazy, right? I was saving this for my son when he grew up. <laughs> well, he's 28 and he has two kids. But look how someone like painted that. Actually, you know what? The grandchildren of the woman who did this for me lives right down the street. So if I can get the stains out and if my son doesn't want it, I might bring it down to them so that would be very special, I think, for them. And then it had a couple of plastic sheets, and those will just go right in the trash. I was insecure, caught up in the bed. Why you show me how to heal? This 
Let me get rid of that. Found some old clothes that can be donated. One of their not all discolored because my phone is going crazy. Yeah, so just clothes for the well. This actually was never used, so that can go to Goodwill. And then look what I found. I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. At one point, I was gonna make a gallery wall, obviously, with those, and it never happened. Can anyone relate to projects and you just like keep these things and then it ends up getting shoved in an attic and it never happened? Beanie Babies, <laughs> who remembers Beanie Babies? Here's another one. And then this, this was a gift from my husband and I took it to the hospital with me whenever I was delivering a baby and it was a focal point. I would put it on the opposing wall from me and it was just a reminder that God loved this child more than I ever could and so I just needed to put it all in his hands. It's hard to know what I'm going to do with all these photos. I think for now I'm going to take them out of the frames and get rid of the frames. And then later on, if I want to do a big collage or something on a wall, I'll just start fresh. I might keep those silver frames though because I do have a big focus on silver in the house right now and maybe I will do a gallery wall, we'll have to see. Okay, so I got all that emptied out. This box is now empty. I need my husband to get it out of here because I don't even know how it ever got in. There were boxes on top and those are gone. There were boxes here, those are gone. There was the trash bags here, those are gone. So that is some good progress. I see a Christmas tree back there, golf clubs. I actually think that far box that's open is more school stuff. And this all belongs to a son of mine who's grown, but we're definitely gonna go through this stuff because I know he's forgotten about it. And then I have a feeling that's probably my daughter's and that's why it's pink. And then, what's over there? Oof. Hopefully that's my son Tyler's because I know he doesn't want anything. What's in here? Ooh. Old towel we can get rid of. Oh, more school stuff. Wow. And can you see that trophy over there? That's my husband's from school. He got a sportsmanship award. So I feel like this stuff in here isn't too hard to declutter as far as decision making goes. I think the hardest part for me is just getting it all out of here and getting it taken care of. I've got more golf clubs over here. So yeah, we gotta figure that out. This is the state of my living room when that small amount that I decluttered threw up on the living room floor. Except for this over here, that and that, I had decluttered from the girls' closet last week but I hadn't taken it out of the house yet, so that'll leave today. I've divided this up. This can be donated. They were like bedding and sheets and um, bed skirts and that sort of thing. Then this was stuff that's so heavily damaged that it cannot be donated. These are those baby blankets that I was thinking about trying to clean, but when I get them in better lighting, I don't think that's possible. Maybe this one. So I'm believing this one's just gonna go because it's just too discolored. These pictures, I'm gonna take them out of the frames, keep the pictures, get rid of the frames, except for those silver frames, which are in a box over here. This was blankets that can be donated except for this electric blanket, which even if I can get it to work because I didn't know if any mice had been in the eaves. I'm not going to donate that in case it has frayed wiring. So these, that will get donated. It's just like blankets and yeah. Then this is a shelf that will get donated because I have the hardware for it right here. And this stuff will either get donated or thrown away. These I need to go through, get out the pictures, keep, I mean, take out the pictures, get rid of the frames, unless they're really damaged, like this one. 
very damaged. So that will just go in the trash. This I'll keep the frame. Oh, yeah, and there's the silver one. Then these two comforters will also get donated. Leo does not know what to make of this. So every year, I would just put one on top of the next. All right, I want you to vote in the comment section, okay? These that I never used, should I keep them or should I donate them? I have no plan to use them, was tempted by them because they're silver if I ever did do like a little gallery wall. So let me know in the comments below, keep or get rid of. Okay, so this is my keep pile to put with our other photos. I just found some more, so I actually have eight of these. So you're voting on whether I should keep these eight silver, eight by 10 frames or donate them. So here is what we have. Donation, 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 trash, trash, donation, donation. Did I say that's donation? I think I did, I'm not sure. Then, this is my baby keep pile. And they're just photos. These, I couldn't get them out of the frame, so I need my husband's help. 
This, I'm seeing if I can get the stains out. This, I'm looking for advice on. And then this is what you're voting on. So here is what we have. Donation, donation, donation. Trash, trash. Donation, donation. Did I say that's donation? I think I did, I'm not sure. So now it's time to get out of the house the things that are leaving, which always feels so good. Remember, as always, that God loves you, and I love you too, and I can't wait to see you next time.